So I'm just here now waiting for my train. I've got to get a train from Seven Tunnel Junction to Bristol Temple Meads where I can then get a coach that'll take me directly to Bristol Airport. What is up guys, welcome back to I'm So Craigy. This one I filmed back in September last year. I was on 88 skydives and I wanted to hit the big 100 before the end of summer. So I spontaneously decided to book a flight to Madrid and get them done. In this video, I'll show you a little bit of Aranjuez and 10 cool things to see in Madrid with just one day. The bus to the airport from the train station cost eight quid and runs every 15 minutes or so. It's always better to be last one on the plane. I want to be on that plane for as little time as possible. Look at those people queuing up to get on the plane. They're going to get on the plane and sit there for half an hour. I don't want to be on that plane for any longer than I need to be. But the most important reason is because when these guys go, I know I'm the very last person on that plane. Meaning, I get my choice of all the free seats. When I got on the plane, my mate Parker was sat in the row behind me. What are the odds in that? I may as well change my channel name to I'm So Parker with all the mentions you're getting me. So I am at Madrid Airport. I haven't got any accommodation for now. The time is, time's 20 past 10. I didn't book any accommodation because I don't have a lot of money left and I want to put basically all my money towards skydiving. I don't want to be wasting money on accommodation. In fact, I was going to pack a tent and pitch my tent just outside the drop zone, but one of the instructors said I can crash at his but um, here I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm not in, in the airport, I've done many, many nights in the airport, it's not a big deal. But I wasn't excited for it, I read online they got free Wi-Fi, unlimited, and like Bristol Airport, which gives you two hours, pussies. And I found this bar, and much to the enjoyment of my ears, the bar is 24 hours. When they told me that, I was like, oh, that is amazing. And they got plug sockets on the table. So I was like, oh, this is brilliant. I got the Wi-Fi, I got the plug socket, and I've got the beer. When you leave departures, hang a right, just keep going. Next to the Hertz rental company place, you'll see this bar. This is me for the night, guys. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Morning, guys. I'm knackered. I slept there on the floor. I didn't want to go and sleep over there because this guy over here, I'm sure him, he's airport security. And I read online that around 11 o'clock, he starts kicking you out. But if you're in this bar, more specifically a paying customer, he sort of like leaves you alone, it's like a bit of immunity. So my last pint I bought, I uh, left half of it on the table here. And then I went in there and I fell asleep. And if I'd have got woken up, I would have been like, oh, I didn't intend to fall asleep. I was drinking my pint. But really the pint was just a decoy. It was a decoy pint. I still drank it. Now the time is, it's 5.23. I'm knackered, I've only had like two or three hours sleep. And I'm going to be jumping from a plane later. Now, my plan is to go freshen up a little bit and get the uh, bus and train to Aaron Huth. I'm going to do some jumps and then f***ing sleep because I'm knackered. I'm getting too old for this sh**. I need to stop booking hostels at time. The Airport Express bus runs 24 hours a day and the bus stop is located just outside of Terminal Exit 13. It costs 5 euros and takes about 40 minutes. For Centre City, get off at Estacion de Atocha, which is Madrid train station. The train from here to Aranjuez cost me just 4 euros 55 and took about an hour and a half. I am absolutely shattered. I didn't get any sleep on the train. It's five to seven in the morning. So I still haven't had any sleep from when I last spoke to you at the airport. And I'm going to be up in the sky in about two hours time. I'm super excited. That'll wake me up for sure. I think I'm only going to do a half day today. I'm going to try and get three jumps in. I'm on 88 jumps now. My plan is to get to 100 by Monday. So it's four days of jumping. Three jumps a day should be fine. So if I can get three in today, that'd be perfect. I've got a full day of it tomorrow. So I'll do five or six jumps tomorrow. Anyway, I've got a few hours to kill. So I'm going to have some breakfast. Tortilla patata. Lovely food.
just managed to squeeze them all in guys. My 100th jump was on the last flight of my last day at the drop zone. Jump 100 baby! Jump 100, I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that! What's happening, guys? I'm, uh, I'm, I've just finished my 100 jump. I'm very happy. And uh, now I'm heading to Madrid. Pretty drunk, actually, to be fair. But I'm going there to, um, to spend a couple of days. I'm gonna check out the what they have to offer. I'm gonna meet a friend Parker. I give him a shout out, actually, in one of my videos, the San Fermin. Check it out. It's here or here somewhere. So I'm pretty drunk, so anyway, I'm going to see you guys in a bit, I'm going to f***ing, I need to sort myself out, I'm going to f***ing get the train, it's like almost almost midnight now, so I'm going to get the train and then, uh, and then we'll do it from there, but I f***ing have 100 jumps, right, I'm so happy about that. What's up guys, so <laughs> I'm a little bit more sober than I was when I last made a video, but I missed my bus, I was meant to get a train to Madrid, and I'd missed the train, so I went to the bus stop, I fell asleep at the bus stop, and I missed the bus as well, so now I'm walking to the train station, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, I don't know how long I was asleep for, probably like 3 hours or something, that's pretty much the story, <laughs> I'm in the middle of Aaron Huith, there's not a lot going on, so yeah, I was meant to be meeting up with Parker, and, uh, and now I'm just wandering about, trying to find the train, I don't even know if I'm going the right way to the train station because my phone's on 1% so I'm not using my map and all that. So who knows? I'm just going off memory from when I bought it from the train two days ago. Hopefully I get some sleep there as well because I'm schnockered. Peace. Be there guys. Be easy. What's up guys? I just got to Madrid. Centre city. Don't know where I am. I don't even know what time it is. It's like maybe five in the morning or something. I really haven't slept much last night. I try to find the hostel and find the common room and go to sleep because I can't check in until probably like two o'clock. I found my hostel and got some much needed sleep. The next day was my last full day in Madrid, so I decided to spend the day sightseeing. I made a route on Google Maps of everything I wanted to see and screenshot the whole route so I can use it to navigate. The route from start to finish was over 12 kilometers, but I decided to walk the whole thing instead of taking the metro. My first stop was Porta del Sol, which is like some giant square with a famous statue of a bear in it. I'm not exactly sure why the statue is famous though. Disappointingly, Porta del Sol was undergoing some work while I was there and just looked like a giant construction site. So I quickly moved on to stop number two, which was Banco de España, the Bank of Spain. If you watch the de papel or as it's known in English money heist you'll be very familiar with the Bank of Spain look at this person's face they're like oh I hate my life Bank of Spain opens up on the Plaza de Sibyls, which is a square with marble sculptures and water fountains surrounded by some impressive buildings this was number three on my list Just a five minute walk up the road is stop number four, El Retiro Park. A giant bustling park with huge lakes and ponds, lush greenery, impressive statues and monuments, and even a few bars to grab a quick pint. Cause you know you gotta keep your buzz going while you're out there sightseeing guys. Retiro Park is also home to Crystal Palace Art Gallery. And speaking of art, I put a lot of work into this video as I do with all my videos. So why not show your appreciation with a cheeky thumbs up. And you may as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. I'm sightseeing right now guys, so. As always, I got my pint of beer. Today I'm drinking Estrella, it's delicious. And I'm currently in Retiro Park. Let me show you where I'm at, guys.
After walking through the park, I was feeling peckish, so I headed over to Anton Martin Market, which is a vibrant indoor food market. I'm not 100% sure if I found the right place, but I did find a food market, so I decided to grab a snack there in any case. Uno pollo. Sí. Uno llamón y queso, por favor. Sí, uh, cerveza, por favor. ¿Cerveza? Sí. Perfecto. Do you have that? Grande, grande cerveza? Sí, gracias. But only a snack, guys, because my next stop was the main course, which was a restaurant called Sobrino di Botti. Guys, behind me is the world's oldest restaurant, opened up in 1725, and it's been running continuously since then. Now, that's incredible, but what's more incredible is the fire they use inside to cook the pigs has been burning since open. This fire has been burning for over 250 years, and it's never to be extinguished. Now, that is impressive. I ordered roast suckling pig, which is this signature dish. It's the oldest dish on their menu and certainly the most famous dish too. And it was cheaper than what I expected for the world's oldest restaurant, coming in at about 26 euros. Mate, it's about time you retire now, isn't it? You're just showing off at this point. After my lunch, I walked up the road to Cathedral de la Alman. Almadina. Cathedral de la Almadina. Cathedral de la Almadina. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Just next door to the cathedral is the Royal Palace of Madrid. Look at that guys. Behind me is the Royal Palace guys. And I gotta say, sorry Lizzie, or sorry Charles, but this blows Buckingham Palace out of the water. This place is beautiful. I'm not going inside guys though, because wow. Checking out the cathedral and royal palace, I walked to a part of the city called Malasagna, which is a happening, student-friendly area with streets filled with coffee shops, bakeries, bars and clubs and just things like that. Certainly a place to check out at night. Guys, I'm trying not to freak out right now. I'm trying to play it cool, but Optimus Prime is over there and I'm a little starstruck, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what to say to him. I didn't go there on this video guys, but Plaza Maya is definitely worth checking out too, especially at night. I've been there before in the past, which is why I never went there again this time. Just outside of Melisania is Generator Hostel. It's not the hostel I stayed at, but it does have an awesome rooftop bar open to the public, so I ended my day there with a pint. next day I left Spain and headed for Dublin where I went to watch and meet Harry Mack, my favourite freestyle rapper. So thanks for watching my video guys, I'll end it here with some clips of H Mack doing what he does best and I'll see you on the next one. You're looking sweaty like me man, you're doing it right. Alright, Angels and Demons is the topic for the song. That beat! The angels and demons. Yeah, y'all know I'm about to split the flames. Angels and demons, I'm talking about the yin and yang. Someday when my own mind's stopping me, I'm both good and evil. I'm repping the dichotomy. Yeah, all of us born with each other. Cause no human being is one or the other. Y'all know we out here to rise above. 
There couldn't be evil if we didn't have love. The, the angels and demons inside, no one is dominating, but they constantly having the conversation. I'm calm and patient and waiting to see what's the outcome. Angel or demon, which one am I about, son? But yo, the devil steps in like, nah, wait. That angel, he be tripping. Why's he always trying to hate? No debate. Mac, you wanna do inspired songs? How you about to hit that level if I'm not hitting the bone? Yeah, the devil's like, you need that. 